this photograph of Yar is actually a reflection from the door onto the balcony. It's a mirror of himself. So he's relaxing in the sun overlooking Rome from Castel Gandolfo. And of course, the Holy Ghost, whose name is Brian, then ago lightly marshaled the returned Lord Jesus Christ, announced by Pope Benedict the Sixteenth on March the twelfth this year, twenty thirteen, and through his apostolic letter, released to the world March twenty sixth, twenty thirteen. Now, again, just reminding people who are already following Yah's PowerPoints, there's information in here for those who might be watching for the first time, in which case everything would be very strange and all news to them. <laughs> here we go. Zechariah 4.10, For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth, Zerubbabel being an ancestor of Jesus, who is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall in his second coming. What's it all about? It's all about a pyramid in Antarctica, which is located at 71 degrees south by 23 degrees east. Now, measuring the distance to where I was reborn, 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebery in Sydney, Australia, is 7656 kilometres. Uh, by the way, for those hearing for the first time, the reborn Christ resurrection is reincarnation. You've all been here before. So the Christ was reborn into the pit of hell, identified by Rothschild Avenue, the devil behind all things, controlling all things, is the Rothschild family. I think you may already know that by now. So, 7656, masculine of 7651, means seven. Sheba, a well in Palestine. It's all about the seven. The sacred number seven. And it is found in this famous verse, from 1 Chronicles 5.13 And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshulam and Sheba and Jorai and Yachan and Zia and Heba seven, referring to the seven names. So that's what the distance is. 7656 from 7651. Now the distance around the earth at the latitude so that's the latitude of 71 degrees south is light. It's 7052 nautical miles. If you're not familiar with the measurements that Christ measures using miles or kilometers or inches or feet, whatever a length of measure is, or nautical miles as well. These are all based on measurements. That is what God does. He measures the earth, which is his temple. So 7052 nautical miles, and it means light. As a pyramid base, the height would be 1121. Hebrew, then from 1129, a son as a builder of the family name, a lamb. Before we look at the angels in Antarctica, I will lead the newcomer into the coincidences of my existence. My many videos have been teaching and the explaining of the genetic numbers of my family from wife number one and the children she gave birth to and wife number three revealing the antechamber 116.26 number being a key for the Lord to walk out of the king's chamber as follows. The pyramid at Giza, the great pyramid at Giza, is the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt, referred to in Isaiah chapter 19, verses 19 and 20. It is the record and memorial of the Christ in his second incarnation. Moving right along. Now, it was the age I married at 1162.6 weeks. 
It was the age between daughters and stepdaughter, 11.626 years. 777 days, daughter number two, and 777 days is 2.127 years. So it's the age between stepdaughter number two and, it's, uh, sorry, between daughter number two and the stepdaughter who was born to her mother when the mother was 1162.6 days younger than I. And she was 32.75 years old when she gave birth to that daughter. These numbers, 3275 and 2127, are found once and side by side in First Chronicles 5.13. This is the miracle of it all, the synchronicity of the numbers, and how it is that God, who comes back to the earth completely rejected by all mankind, devoured by their religions and the books they are reading. However, the book within the book, it's all about the numbers. Now, measuring the chambers of the pyramid, we have the wall height of the king's chamber, plus displacement, plus distance from the grand gallery, times a lunation. When you multiply all of those measurements, they equal 31101. And that is the Julian day I was reborn on. 2, 4. 31101 and 31101 that should be 1 verses within the King James Bible I missed that that should be 31101 verses in the Lucifer 1611 KJV now the names in First Chronicles 5.13, total, this is where the 31106 comes in, which is 31101 plus 5, which is for Abba, the father. Now, divided by the seven names of First Chronicles 5.13 equals 4443.714. 714 is Isaiah 7.14. However, the word God is found 4,443 times within 3877 verses. This number, 3877, is the distance in miles to the South Pole from the maternity ward that I was reborn into at St Margaret's Hospital in Sydney, Australia. Now the odds of all of these, um, the odds of, and, and the, the chances of all of these occurring are one billion times one billion times one billion. It's a number so huge, it's more than all the atoms in the universe for all of these numbers to be occurring in this one particular verse. And the mother and daughter found side by side. It's all about the keys, the genetic key to the house of David. Also, seven. The number seven in, or the word seven in First Chronicles 5.13, is counted as the 221st seven in the KJV 1611. In total, is uh, I think 391. Well, this verse seven is the 221st first mentioned. And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshalem and Sheba seven and Jorai and Jakan and Zia and Heber seven. Two sevens in this verse and seven names. So in doing some multiplication, 221 times 7 equals 1547. Greek dictionary is to marry off a daughter, give in marriage. 221 in Greek is Alexandria, and the pyramid round trip from Alexandria is 221 miles. Again, the synchronicity of the numbers, chapters and verses, the concordance numbers for each word listed, gematria, how the Christ reveals all things. The distance from the Antarctic Pyramid to North Eagle Road. Now, we haven't visited the, nor the uh, Antarctic Pyramid yet, so just bear all of this in mind. We'll see it in a minute. To North Eagle Road, which is in Harcourt, Victoria, Australia, where the New Jerusalem has been declared by the Christ already. That distance is 4443.4 miles. Again, that is the word God, 4443 times within 3877 verses, which is the distance from the South Pole to St. Margaret's Maternity, where I was reborn, 3877 miles. 
Now from North Eagle Road to my rebirth home at 105 Rothschild Avenue, it measures four four three point three miles back to Eagle Road South, which measures four 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 point seven miles. When you add those two numbers together, eight 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 is the Greek gematria for Jesus. Here is the round trip to north and south back to the Christ rebirth location. The length is 888.0 miles. One leg being 444.7 plus the other leg being 443.3 miles, adding them together. Now the heading is 228.58 Greek 2285, stupefaction by surprise, that is astonishment, amaze, plus astonished and wonder. And truly it all is how the Christ reveals himself to the world and proves all things is truly astonishing. People still don't grasp it. So divine.